So step number one, create your outline. You could be working from scratch if you've never done one, or if you've been trying to sell a coaching program and it's not working out for you, it's not, you're not selling it, it may be that you've got the wrong program or the wrong audience or something. So if you're working from scratch, you can literally sit down and begin to outline what are the things that I can help people do and what steps could I take them through to help them get there. Now, if you already have a book, a speech, a seminar, an info product, something you've already structured your content or your knowledge or your intellectual property into, then you could quickly turn that into a coaching program. For example, let's say that you've got a training program. It's got eight modules in it, and it's eight really solid, specific steps or stages in a process. Well, there's a pretty good chance that's an eight-week or an eight-part coaching program. Right, so if you had a, I mean, if you could if you could do one a month, you could make it an eight month program. But I don't know very many people out there looking to buy an eight month process. Right, um, in fact, a lot of people would like to have an eight day process or an eight minute process. Just get me there fast, and I'll give you the money. Right. So if you already have a book and it has, let's say, 10 or 12 chapters in it, then it's possible you could take those chapters and turn those into steps or weeks or modules or pieces in your outline and make that into your coaching pro uh, program. Here's how I look at it. I believe that a book, an info product, a training program or something like that is sort of like buying a road map. If you're going to a foreign country, you go and you buy a map for the area and you go, wow, there's a cool thing over here. So you put a little mark and say, okay, let's go to that. And then oh, let's go to this too. And you go and put a little mark and you decide all these different places you want to go along your journey. And the, the challenge with that is if you get off down a back road somewhere and can't figure out how to get yourself out or maybe a, you're driving through an area of town in the middle of night when you should not be in that area of town, and you would have known that if someone would have been there to warn you. I look at coaching as being almost like a tour guide on that trip. So if you ever go on a trip and you really want to get the rich experience, sometimes it's really good to hire a tour guide. You can do that on a private basis. You can do that on a group basis with a group tour. But what does that tour guide do for you? They show you some of those out-of-the-way places, some of the best hidden restaurants that none of the tourists go to, only the, the locals go there, and it's got amazing food, or this great band that only plays on Thursdays from 7 to 10. And a tour guide, if you get down a road and there's a big roadblock in the way, and you go, man, i got to get around here, but I don't even understand how these one-way streets go each direction, a tour guide goes left, right, left, right, we're there. Boom. They get you around those barriers or those obstacles. So that, when you look at yourself as, JP, I already got a book, I already got an info product, that's your roadmap that you sell. But if you begin to sell coaching, that you step into the role as a tour guide and help take those people where they want, and many times in a faster pace and a much richer experience. Now, if you are working from scratch, you're going to be doing what I did whenever I started my speaker formula program. I'll give you a quick example of that. I never, ever, ever, ever intended to be a speaking coach, and I don't teach people how to speak per se. I teach them how to make money in the speaking business. But in uh, 2006, between January 1st and February 15th, I had 11 different people who were involved in a book project with me. They found out I was a speaker and what I did and some of the stages I spoke on and what all I'd done in that business. And they came to me in various shapes and forms and said, JP, I'd love to learn how to get in the speaking business. Can you teach me how? 11 different people. One of them was a guy in Canada. He said, JP, if you'll teach me, if you agree to teach me how to break into the speaking business, I'll wire you 10 grand right now. And I turned him down. And I was, those of you that are married will appreciate this. I was riding in the car with Tanya. You saw our picture at the beginning of the workshop. But I was riding in the car with Tanya one day, a few days after this, and I said, you know, I don't get it. All these people ask me how to be in the speaking business. I don't want to be a speaking coach. I don't want to teach people. You know, you all heard, you've all heard the phrase, those who can do, those who can't teach, right? And so I didn't want to be that guy. I was already successful in speaking business. I didn't need to teach people how to get in the business. And so I said, you know what? I've had 11 different people. I even had this guy in Canada offer to wire me $10,000 if I'd teach him how to get in the speaking business. And Tanya looked over at me across the car, and I kid you not, Daniel, she literally physically reached over and boinked me on the head. And she said, you big idiot, go take their money and teach them what you know. And if I could say that in the most raw, Tanya-esque way to every person on this workshop, you big dummy, go take people's money and teach them what you know. 
there are people out there that want a shortcut. They want an edge. They want some way to help get them where they're going faster and more efficiently, and they'll pay you for the ability to do that. So based on that wonderful spousal recommendation, I went home, opened up my laptop, flipped on Microsoft Word, and I started an outline, just like I'm telling you to do. An hour later, I had a 31-page outline. And I said, crap, that's a bunch of stuff. I know how to, I know some stuff, you know, it's that shocking moment. And uh, I said, you know what, let me see what I can do. So I grabbed one of those banker's boxes, you know, that you pop out the ends on and turn it into a box that's flat when you buy them. And I put that together, and I started running around my office in our storage area and our shipping area, and I was grabbing all those promo packs and uh, one sheets and uh, survey forms and questionnaires and uh, all kinds of stuff, everything I used in my speaking business to get booked, what I did on site and what I did after the events to get booked again and get referrals. And I sat down at my desk, I had this box flowing over, I had a 31 page outline and I said, holy smoke, I've got a McDonald's franchise on the speaking business. And I wrote an email that said, basically, it was in so many words, I'm going to do this program, I'm due to pilot, it's going to be $10,000 a person, I'm going to do it for the first time for eight people at $5,000 a piece, and I had 43 people apply to be in that program, and I was blown away, I was like, shoot, I've got something here. And I, that was back before I was very sophisticated and figured out how to send people to a forum. And so I had them all emailing me back. And, and I was literally for two weeks fielding calls and talking to people. And I sold out that first program. I had a $40,000 payday. And that was when my list was dinky doodle, just a few hundred people on that list. But it goes to show you that you've got knowledge in your head. And many times we overlook that knowledge. And there are people out there with pain. I mean, they're literally in a desert with nothing to drink and nothing to eat, looking for someone like you to come along and help them and help them get out of that. And the knowledge is in your head. You just have to put it into some sort of a structured form.